I'm going to bring on the wonderful Kimberly. Yeah. Massive round of applause for Kim. Yeah. Woo! Without Kim, we would not be here doing this. So another massive round of applause. Come on, everyone. Yeah. Woo! Hey, everyone. How are you doing? We're good. So today, I'm not really going to talk much about RSE. I'm going to talk about the politicians. Because as you would have seen, there's a bit of a thing going on between me and Laura Ann Jones. And people are wondering why. Laura's on our side. It's lip service. And I'm really sorry I missed that earlier, so I hope you're all filming this now. I want it emailed to her inbox, okay? So let's talk about Laura Ann Jones and her time on the Children and Young People's Education Committee. She jumped on with Lynn Eagle and Co. And she stood up and gave a speech in the Senate. I'm going to read you her speech now. But she did say to you guys, didn't she? She said that she voted yes after she read this little piece. But that's not what this speech says. Because she actually sat on the Young People's and Education Committee. So let's have a little listen to what she had to say. It also makes relationships and sexuality education and religious values and ethics mandatory elements addition to Welsh and education. Concerns have been raised on both of these issues. My son attends a church in Wales school, which was so choice, as I strongly believe that the values that come out of that school, which happens to be a school I attended, are so, so good, and he learns. He's such a rounded little boy, and he's come back with such an understanding and respect for all religions. And I'm so proud of him for that. I'm proud of the school for delivering that sort of education to him. Therefore, I believe the current curriculum in terms of religious education is delivering right now, in my opinion and my experience. I do see all the arguments today, and I'm not going to go over them because I'll be talked about a lot today by people who are much more in the know than me, actually. But I am concerned that the bill notes there is no right to withdraw from RVE. That's religion, values and ethics, by the way. It's something that I'm still uncomfortable with. In my consent, ba constant battle in my head between the rights of the parents and the rights of the child, and which one should come out on top? Really? It's not black and white, but it's so important that we get this right and everyone on board with it. Relationships and sexuality education is intended to be taught across the curriculum to support physical, mental, emotional health and well-being. This was my biggest issue with it. When faced with this curriculum at first, I was very skeptical and uncomfortable with the idea of my 10-year-old son being taught RSE at that sort of level. But having taken the evidence and listen to the people throughout the committee process of scrutinizing this, I am now comfortable with what my son would potentially be taught. It is directed on what age you are. And it's so important that our children also learn about what's right and what's wrong in terms of relationships and things like that. And the massive impact that this will have on child abuse and things going forward. I really do think it's absolutely the best part of the bill. Actually, I think it's really, really important. So I've completely turned around, and I don't think that if other people took the time to listen to the people who contributed to our committee, they too would change their mind and realize it is age appropriate, appropriate to be taught those things. I listened to the member over here about being taught about menstrual cycle. I was never taught about it. So very scary and muddy in time, and that sort of thing should be incorporated. I know that parents have a responsibility, but not all parents do that. Not because they're irresponsible, my parents aren't irresponsible, but it wasn't the done thing to talk about. It's those sort of barriers that we need to break down, and this is the way of doing that. So she said in her speech, right, and this was on the 15th of December 2020. She said in her speech after looking at the evidence, but she just told you lot out here now, she read a little slip. I think she just lied to your face. I thanked her. So anyway, let's fast forward to January, just a month later. We sat the petitions committee. So I emailed all 60 members of the Senate. 
and I sent them this four-page document with 17 pieces of evidence, 2,410 words. Laura Ron Jones was in there. All 60 members of the Senate had this in January 2021. Thanks, Dad. So let's fast forward to when we actually, so she had that evidence, okay? That evidence proved that we were going off the theory of sexual beings. We didn't know about queer theory then. We only knew about sexual from birth, right? So they were all sent that evidence and they all ignored it. And then when we finally got to take them to court, we had another two votes after that and that's when Laura Ann Jones flip-flopped. That's when Laura Ann Jones voted against it. So she had evidence from the Education Committee, she had 17 pieces of evidence from us, no reply. Then the Conservatives started voting against it. So we emailed them. We issued Jeremy Miles with a letter before action telling him he's going to court. And we emailed all 16 members of the Conservative Party on the 7th of February 2022. We said, Dear all, Following an 18-month battle to be heard and countless attempts to intercept what we undoubtedly know to be comprehensive sexuality education, which all four UK governments signed up to in March 2017, I can now inform that this matter is being escalated to the courts. I write to invite you to a meeting regarding the severity of this issue and present some of the evidence we have against the Welsh Government. I suspect many of you do not know half of what is about to unfold. I also invite you to stand by your disapproval of what the government has recently passed by way of publicly pledging support to this cause. We have a high profile legal team, we're in the process of raising funds, we refuse to be silenced. Everyone has a right to know what has and is going on. This invite is being sent to all 16 people who recently voted against against the RSE code. You can contact myself direct on, there's a number. You can arrange a private meeting, a join a meeting sometime this week. I am more than certain that 15 minutes of your time is more than adequate. For a bit of context, I will forward the document which all four UK governments feel is an acceptable framework for children from birth. We can discuss this matter in final detail during the meeting. But first, it's essential for you to see whether the government deal a skill for life. We will provide you further evidence to support our concerns if we meet. What do you think the response was from all 16 members who are dead against this education? We had a few emails. Sam Rowland's emailed back he was going to meet us. Darren Miller's personal assistant emailed back at a phone meeting with them. He wasn't going to budge. All the rest were supporting Laura Ann Jones. My colleague Laura Ann Jones, my colleague Laura Ann Jones, my colleague Laura Ann Jones. And then they sent me this. Commenting on the RSC statement due later today, Welsh Conservative Shadow Education Minister Laura Ann Jones said, the consequences of waving through this legislation without proper scrutiny, just 30 minutes of debate in the Senate are huge. But she's already told us in another speech. That should plenty of evidence. So there we are. Plenty of evidence, plenty of time. Labour bill will land schools, parents, teachers and children in Wales with a curriculum framework that is compulsory but very far from clear, robust and fact-based guidance it should be. As it currently stands, the RSE code won't help schools tackle the serious problems of sexual harassment and sexual violence against women and girls. And there are serious question marks over whether it should be delivered in an age-appropriate manner. Labour's code also explicitly fails to use the terms male, female, boy, girl, anywhere in this saga and omission. This sadly appears to prioritise ideology rather than safeguarding and protecting of children. Can you see, when it matters publicly, they are saying the right things. But when you dig deeper, you call these people out, you provided them with evidence and they've done nothing, you expect me to go in there? And old aunts, I don't think so. She said she doesn't understand where this attack is coming from. There is no attack. The attack is on us, on our children. This is not an attack, it's a defense. I'm defending the people in my country from your lies. That's why we call you Liar Laura. Because your words and your actions simply do not match. You are a liar. Get out here and apologize.
apologise to these people because you've just been called out. You have been caught out. Now I advise you all, yes, yeah, share your videos. Share your videos far and wide to get this information out there by all means. But don't you dare fall for their lip service. Don't you dare sit around that table having discussions. The time for discussions is long gone. Years we've been emailing them. Years. Evidence after evidence after evidence. It took me 18 hours to write that document for petitions committee. All the work we have put in, we don't get paid for. They're on a quarter of a million pound per term. No wonder they're trying to fill us up with crap. So, guys, Laura Ann Jones doesn't understand where the attack is coming from. There is no attack. Just defence. Defence of their lies and their bull crap. That's what we're dealing with here, guys. But you know what? The saddest thing of all, the saddest thing of all, children are suffering. Children are being subjected to this on a daily basis. Emma Reynolds has bragged that she successfully reached uh, 3,000 children in this country. We know those children are from additional needs units. This is abuse. They are abusing our children on a mass scale and they are using our money to do it. Get out here, you bunch of nonsense, because that's what they are. They are nonsense. And when I call them a nonce, I tell you why I call them a nonce. Because when I was in a youth offenders institute, I was on a special wing, right? Because I was a young offender. And when you're in prison, you're a young offender up to 21 and 9 months, right? And if anyone on that main looked over at the YO wing, they would have their bits chopped off, okay? There are more sex abuse victims in prison than there are predators. And we know why, don't we? Right? Anyone in jail who touches an old person, a woman, or a child is deemed a nonce. So in my opinion, from where I come from, these people are harming women, girls, and children. Therefore, they are nonce. Put them on the main wing in Cardiff prison. Put them on the main wing in Cardiff prison and see what happens, guys. Because there's far more morals in that prison than what there is in this building. Release the prisoners and let them in there to ravage them. Attack, she says. Attack. Do you know what? Attack. What I should have done years ago, what I had to stop myself doing, was going in there, dragging Kirsty Williams out by her you and putting her in front of you all. That's what we should be doing. Back in the day, you would have been running out of town with a pitchfork, all right? We are playing nice. We are playing kind. Don't insult us, Laura, okay? Do not insult us. So that's Laura Ann Jones for you guys. Liar Laura. And if Laura had nothing to hide, why has she blocked me? Why has she blocked me on Facebook? Why has she blocked me on Twitter? That speech I just read. I called her out about this on Twitter. Do you know what happened? The government removed it off the website. The government deleted the entire debate. But they forgot about the transcript. <laughs> That's what they are like, right? That's what they are like. So if Laura wasn't a liar, why has that debate been removed? If Laura wasn't a liar, why is she blocking me? Why is Laura making statements to the media on behalf of our judicial review? She has never stood with us. She's never replied to us. Actually, she did reply to me. She replied to me seven months after I sent that email to all 16, right? And she offered me a meeting for October. But that was after I called her Laya Laura on Twitter. That's what happens, guys. Laya Laura! Laya Laura! Laya Laura! So guys, by all means, right? You support these people if you want to. You can. Go for it. It's up to you. I'm not telling you not to. 
But I am going to tell you every single time they lie. I am going to show you every single angle of deceit. All right? So like I said, share that videos, but don't you ever give them your time and don't you ever give them your vote, okay? So moving on from that, so, so, nothing, right? <laughs> moving on from that, guys, what are we going to do? Since we've been in court, these guys here have gone away with everything. They haven't seen us once, have they? Because they aren't actually in court. They're sending in their lawyers. They're sending in their lawyers. So they aren't actually there themselves. They aren't even out here now. What are they? They're in there, they're posh suits. They are cowards. But they can't avoid us forever. Do you know why? And I'm glad Dan's here now because Dan was with me when ITV asked me was I going to run in the elections. And I was adamant it was no, he will tell you. So he's going to be shocked now when I say this because we are running in the elections. We're going to run in 2025, 2026 and 2027. It's as simple as that. We're not in it to win it because we know it's corrupt. We're in it to spin it. So, we will be running in the UK election. I will be challenging Chris Bryant in his wife fronts and his images on the internet, Chris. I've still got our photos, sunshine. <laughs> An elephant never forgets. So, we will be challenging in the UK elections. What does that mean? 40 seats, right? Rome wasn't built in a day, but you know what? It was burnt down in a day. We're going to set their backsides on fire. That's what it's about. It's about showing people who they are. It's about showing people what these people are about, okay? So, let's just say, let's think in minimum terms here. This is how good this impact can be, right? So, just the UK election, 40 seats. Just imagine your local Hastings, you sat on our stage right next to them. Yeah? You got people in the audience asking questions. If you can reach 10 families you got it. times 4, 40, that's 400 families in one year, right? Let's go for the Senate election, 60 seats. Imagine sitting on our stage in the Hastings, guys, face to face with these clowns. I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait, okay? And imagine you reach 10 families, then that's 600. In two years, we've reached 1,000 families. Their families will tell the other families and other families and other families. Then we've got the council elections, yay! How many seats have we got there, guys? Hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And we will be challenging every single council seat every single MS seat and every single MP seat simply because you've got questions, we want to answer them and we are going nowhere. We are up in our game every step of the way. Oh, they think they're untouchable. They think they're so superior and we're inferior. But know the moment you're, you're on that ballot paper, you are equal. Equal media coverage, equal everything. You're eye level. They can't run away from you then, can they? So, they are public servants and it's about time they learn their place. We are in control, all right? We're not fighting them no more. There's nothing to fight. Look at them. They're a bunch of weasels. Where are they? Cowards. There is nothing to fight. Why are we getting angered? Why are we getting worked up? Why are we losing sleep? Why is it our problem? It's not. It's their problem. They come to us, they'll have a fight, all right? Let them step on our toes anymore, guys. You stand up to them. We are united. We are an army now. We've united everyone, and we're all united on one thing, and that's the love of children. I'm not going to say our children. It's the love of children because... Some of us here don't have children, and that is an amazing thing that you hear anyway. So, guys, like I said, we are going to challenge them. Okay, we're not in it to win it, simply because we know how crap it is, right? Yeah. But like I said, Rome wasn't built in a day. But it was burnt down in a day. And we can burn these down in a day, right? It's as simple as that. Keep exposing the truth. Do not argue with lies, 
says expose, expose, expose. And if you come across any opposition, how would you deal with that? You just say one thing. How old are you, please? And if they say under 25, you just can't discuss with them. You just have to say, I'm really sorry. I can't debate with you. Your brain hasn't fully developed yet. And you walk away, okay? It's as simple as that. We don't waste time. These children have an immature prefrontal cortex. They have been indoctrinated. They've been celebrated for what they call queerness. But I know the true definition of queerness. The Q is for anything goes. So before they dress it up as a theory, the Q is for anything goes. Look at chapter five of Alfred Kinsey's book and you'll know exactly where that Q goes. Because they've now started queering criminology. Did you know that? How can we queer criminology? Think about it. You're either a paedophile or you're not. So if you're gonna queer it, is a paedophile a paedophile? Is he not a paedophile now? Is it still a crime? Is it not a crime? Can you see where we're going, guys? They have invested into lowering the age of consent in Scotland. Look at the Feminist Declaration, the 25th anniversary, section 14A and section 14G. And you know what? I'm just going to tell you straight. Swansea Pride signed that document. Swansea Pride is in with it. I have emailed Swansea Pride. I can show you the email now if you would like to see it. And I have asked them, is it true you're one of the 200 organizations that signed this? If so, can you in your own words explain to me section 14A? Because it's a big document. You've got to give them the benefit of the doubt, yeah? But Swansea Pride have signed that document. Where's the pride in that? What's that to be proud of? What's the point in having pride if you've got no honor? Exactly. Pride. There's no pride in that, guys. It is absolutely disgusting. Where is the pride in messing with children's young, impressionable minds? That isn't pride. That's child abuse. Yeah. Yeah. This is mass child abuse, what we're dealing with here. You do not engage with children. You don't talk about children's genitalia. You don't talk about their sexuality. If children want to talk, they talk. We don't put things into their head. We pull stuff out of their head. We want their imagination. We want their thoughts. We want their feelings. You never put stuff in. When you put stuff in, it's oppression. You're, oppress you're oppressing their natural thoughts, the way they learn, the way they're going to grow up, they're going to become wonderful human beings if you leave them alone yeah, exactly. but what are we dealing with now there's somebody on my bloody news feed man they are celebrating transgenderism in 12 year olds it doesn't exist it's bloody fashionable yeah. it's a fashion statement okay if you're actually dealing with this properly you will know you're dealing with gender or body dysmorphic which is a serious issue and you need support. You need therapy, support and encouragement. You do not need a teacher bringing you a new uniform, suggesting you may be the opposite sex. These teachers haven't got a clue. And when you cannot teach something in a critical manner, we are dealing with the, the definition of indoctrination, guys. Yeah. And that's pretty mildly. That's politely. They are abusing our children on a mass scale. And it's been going on a while. You know, Emma Ryan has bragged that she's reached 3,000 children. Guys, in addition to these children, it's sick. It's sick, right? And we've got to change this. And the only way we can change this, guys, is becoming the change that we want to see. No one at the top has ever changed anything at the top. But as to the bottom, we have 100% success rate every time we decide to kick off. And that's what we're going to do now. We are going to have success rate at this as well, okay? 2023 is the beginning of the end for the pro clowns, okay? <laughs> we don't do pro clowns. When Satan cooked up his plan about pro clowns, right? God just kicked back. Cracked open the whiskey and sent me down. Because he knew I want to be putting up with this nonsense. Right? I am not doing it. I'm not entertaining it. And neither are you lot. 
It doesn't matter who you offend. If they if they offended, if their feelings hurt, tough. Yeah. Man up. Yeah. The gingers are too. <laughs> it's as simple as that. We are the true minority. I'm speaking as a ginger. We are the true minority. We are the ones that's always picked on in school. We are the ones never picked for PE. And what happened to us? We turned into absolute animals. <laughs> so, if you're easily offended, you're easily manipulated. And that's probably the reason why you support this agenda. Okay, guys? I'm not going to say much more than that now. I am here to challenge them. So if any teacher in the whole of the world, right, the world, want to challenge me on safeguarding, please do it. Let's do it live. If any politician in there wants to challenge me on this, please be my guest. All 60, let's go for it. Children's Commissioner, email the Children's Commissioner and get in a meeting with me because she needs to go as well. NSPCC, Bernardo's Women's Aid, where are you? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? No one of you will face us. No one of you will answer our questions. You won't answer our freedom of information requests. I've asked you for the evidence why you will support this RSE and all you do is send me a consultation. It's not good enough. We will be changing the dynamics of this country. We will no longer have a children's commissioner. We don't need her. Okay? I've tried to use her many occasions for additional needs. She's as much use as a knitted condom. Okay? And you can say she's new. She's done exactly the same as the one before. I don't even know why they're here. In actual fact, we surveyed the population about two years ago. We surveyed about a thousand people and we said, what is the name of your children's commissioner or child minister? 87% of the country didn't know. And for the 12.4% that did know, most of them thought it was Kirsty Williams. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody cares who you are. But we do care you're having a lot of money. These people have to go, guys. And the only way these people have to go is if we put ourselves forward to stand in their place. And that's what we got to do, guys. we got to give people the confidence to stand up, okay? I don't compare myself to anyone, only the person I was the day before. But since this campaign started, and these people were making decisions on my children, I have no choice but to compare myself to the people in this Senate. You know I refer to myself as a child from the streets, the underdog of all underdogs, okay? And I'm stood here as a kid off the streets, right? There's nothing, two and all two pennies to rub together. And I'm telling you, at a massive five foot tall, they do not come up to my ankles. So if I'm standing here saying they do not come up to my ankles, you lot should be standing here with me and say, yeah, they don't come up to my leader. And I will be challenging them. I will be standing in their seats. I will be fighting them in the election. You do it. You're brave enough to be here now. Challenge them. We will help you with your manifesto. We will help you with the questions. We will help you with the debates. Do you know why? Because we are a team. Yes. That's why. We are a team. One in, all in. One out, all out. And that's what we're going to do. Out here, one in, all in. In there, one out, all out. We need to clear this smut. Right, guys? And like I said, I know it's corrupt and some people don't believe in it, this, that and the other. But it's our duty to play the system. If we don't play the system, how can we show others what's going on? Okay? That's our job here, guys, is to play the game. And I love games. <laughs> so that's all i got to say now, guys. Thank you all for coming. I don't know who's next. I don't know who's next. Where's who cheers? She's there. Woo! And I'll uh, pass it back over to Chia now. Guys, so thank you all so much for coming. We keep this up. Um, we do have our Skatathon. There's also an event in North Wales as well. Oh, there's an event tomorrow. The Talbot Civic Centre, if you could help me there, guys. I'm going outside to the full council meeting. I'm going to address little Hitler, Stephen Hunt. Um, yeah, so please support us, guys. Stick together. Keep it all going. We are making progress. How do I know we're making progress? Because we still got no lesson content. <laughs> and we go on. <laughs> so even though some children are suffering, guys, we can sleep at night knowing we've also protected a hell of a lot more than are being subjected to this right now. And you know what? 
That's worth an early night, isn't it? It is, guys. That's something to be proud of. Okay, that's something to be proud of. At the end of the day, guys, we won the day we stood up. We changed this country the day we stood together. This is the beginning of change, guys. Thank you all so much.